Hello, hello, and welcome to another build here. Uh, this is a broken damage build. It's a variant of the Heartbreaker set, uh, the same as we had for the Protection of Monique, but this is focused more on the damage if you just like run Heroic or Legendary maybe in a group, and you have a CC with you or a healer, and you just want that extra more kick on the damage. Uh, the Heartbreaker set is basically just, uh, it comes with blue cores. You need to reroll it to red. So what you want is like crit chance, crit damage. So crit chance as a roll for the attribute, so you can reroll the blue core to weapon damage. Uh, crit damage mods here are fine. You run all of these pieces with crit chance. And you can run a Cheska backpack as example to get your crit chance up. Because Cheska gives you 10% crit chance instead of like an attribute on another gear set, which is only 6. So you gain 4%, which is always better than running anything else. I use a Vigilancy on the backpack because I'm playing the shield, so the enemies will usually shoot into the shield and which does is always up. The other part we're using here is the Fox Prayers, uh, this time with crit damage on it to get the extra kick. And on the weapons, like for the P416, you can, end, you can run any assault weapon that you like. Uh, I would recommend using Flatline. Flatline gives you another 15% amplified damage to pose enemies, which we will have active all the time because of the laser pointer. We're running from the technician spec. The te technician spec is what you need here. Technician spec gives you basically the laser pointer if you level up the rifle here. We don't play it much on this build, uh, but it's only you need to level it up to get access to the mod for the attachment for the weapons. What you want to have is assault rifle leveled out and shotguns leveled out. And these are the main weapons that will be played on this build. The other stuff is not really imp important. You can run the Artificial Hive uh, to get your shield up a, a little bit better. It repairs your shield, it basically refreshes the skill while it's hanging on your backpack and you don't need to drop it. Um, for the skills, I'm using Viper Hive because at this time this is for group play and if I go down, they don't have to worry about me, I can go up by myself. I'm playing the shield most of the time. Weapons, yeah, P416, like I said, any assault rifle, flatline on it, and we can play the Rock and Roll here, which is a Dark Zone exclusive named item. Uh, it's a variant of the ACS-12. If you only have the ACS-12 and you don't have the Rock and Roll, I would recommend running flatline here as well as a talent, because then you have more damage on that weapon too. And usually the magazine size is fine. Um, for this one here, like the Rock and Roll, gives you another like 50% uh, magazine capacity, uh, so usually you have only 20 here. But if you shoot an enemy 14 times with this build, you have full stacks on your Heartbreaker already. Um, we only run the chest on this one, so this will give us another 50 stacks. So the Heartbreaker goes from 50 to 100. That means you have 100% weapon damage and you have 100% bonus armor when the stacks are full, which is easy to achieve with the ACS. Playstyle for this is you come into the fight, you shoot one enemy with the ACS 12 like a couple of times to get your stacks up and running and then switch to the assault rifle or you can also go uh, keep going with the with the shotgun here but the sh you will run out of ammo really quickly here because the shotgun is one of the weapons that has least uh, ammo amount it's only 200 which uh, assault rifle SMGs and everything else is like a couple of thousand uh, so you should be good there playing with the assault rifle stack up with the shotgun play with the assault rifle um, that's it pretty much for this build. I only use it in a group or if I play solo and I want to go really crazy on the damage, um, this build can hit as high without any other buffs like to 1.9 up to 2 million per bullet on the assault rifle if you have full stacks. Um, if you play with a future initial player in your group and he gives the buff from the chest, you can go up to 2.3, 2.4 and if you have a demo as well in your group, you go up to 2.5, 2.6 million per bullet and this is just insane. The damage is crazy. You can use it for speedruns, as example, which is really good on legendary. Uh, you just need to be a little bit more careful because you don't have any protection with this build. It's a full red. You will be squishy. So keep that in mind. Anyway, that's it for this build. I hope you like it. If you do so, leave a comment. That means a lot more for me, like anything else. Um, just say like, hey, this build is cool. This build is not cool. Um, a reason why you find it, uh, you like it, or a reason why you don't like it would be nice too. Uh, so we need to know, or I, will, I basically I know what I could do better on this build. Any recommendations? Do that as well. Anyway, thank you for watching, and see you on the next one.